Hey folks, today we are going to do a little experimenting with what is the life of a shot, an espresso shot. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and I, you know, this question gets asked all the time and it's very subjective. You can read five different articles and you'll get five different opinions on when does a shot diminish to the point of you don't want to use it. Uh, general census is uh, 10 seconds for the shot uh, to be mixed with your milk uh, because it, as it adds to the proteins it changes as well and the chemical breakdown of the shot changes. Uh, the crema on the shot diminishes and let me just go back a little bit on the crema. The crema is produced by several different factors. How the uh, beans were uh, processed whether it be a natural or uh, just all the other different ways of processing beans in the field. Uh, will give you more or less crema. And the freshness of the coffee is very important too. Uh, to the amount of crema that you're going to get. Fresh coffee is very important. And also fresh ground beans. Don't, don't grind your beans ahead of time, uh, like three or four days and expect to get good crema because you just won't. So uh, the 10 second rule, it's very subjective as I mentioned. We're gonna pull some shots and we're gonna pull two shots one fresh and one that's been sitting for about 10 seconds and you'll see the difference of how the crema diminishes. I am going to taste them to see what if I taste the difference. I haven't tried this yet. So um, uh, let's get some shots going and then we'll do some comparison and you can decide from there. So this first shot is going to be the one that's going to be uh, timed out to 10 seconds. And we are using, let's see, Dark Star Espresso from Espresso Republic. And we're going to be brewing a typical shot, which is two ounces. Perfect. Let's let that sit. And I'm going to brew another one. Oh, I just made a mess. So since it takes me a little bit longer than 10 seconds to make it, this is going to sit a little bit longer than 10 seconds, but we're still going to do the comparison. Hey, what's going on? Group. I would say by looking at this, that this is standing up better. The Dark Star is standing up better to the uh, crema diminishing than most, but you will see a difference. All right, so let's break and we're going to do a little taste test. And here's a visual for you. As you can see, the crema is not the same on the two. So come back in a second and we'll do a little taste test. 
Okay, so the one in my right hand is the older one. The one on the left hand is the fresher one. Let's call it fresher. There's the two. So I'm going to try the older one first. And the, like I said, the crema actually held up pretty good in uh, these particular two. The other thing that some people say is take the crema off and it tastes better. That's another experiment you might do is scoop the crema off, try one with crema and one without. This is definitely different. This one is a little, a little bolder. This is not nearly as bold. It has diminished in taste. hasn't got the depth. This is te definitely uh, deeper and also before our, uh, I got on uh, to do this video I also preheated each one of these with hot water from the machine so that they would be equal. The portafilter was hot. Everything is equal. So this one has a lot more depth, a little more flavor. This one has diminished and it's a little weaker and thinner which kind of surprises me but like I said another test, taste test that you can do. Scoop the crema off. Produce one with crema and one without and see what it tastes like because some people don't like crema. They say that's where the bitter part is, but hey, again, it's very subjective. So write in with your results down below. I'd love to have your suggestions or any of your comments. I'd love to read that kind of stuff. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching. You never know what we're going to do next. Thanks a lot.